So moving forward, let's take up question number 10. Let x, y and z be the positive real numbers. Suppose x, y, z are the lengths of sides of a triangle opposite to the angles x, y, z respectively. And one more constraint given to us, tan of x by 2 plus tan of z by 2 is equal to 2y upon x plus y plus z. Then which of the following statements is are true? Let's plan how we can go for this question. If we look at the given constraint, that is tan x by 2 plus tan z by 2 is equal to 2y divided by x plus y plus z. Let's say this is capital and this is a small one. Now, we can put the formula for tan x by 2 using half angle that is S, correct? So, we have the formula for tan x by 2 as well as tan z by 2. Put this result as root of S. What is S? Small x plus y plus z upon 2 minus y into s minus z divided by s into s minus x plus the next one that is tan z by 2 that gives you root s minus x s minus y upon s s minus z is equal to 2y divided by x plus y plus z right just simplify this constraint when you try to simplify it you are going to end up with the result you get s s minus y upon s minus x s minus z square root is equal to 1 that is simply cot y by 2 or reciprocal you can say tan y by 2 is also going to be 1 either way you can write that is cot y by 2 is 1 giving you angle y is equal to pi by 2 because y by 2 is pi by 4. So we get angle y is pi by 2. Now options are like y is x plus z or 2y is x plus z. Since we have y as pi by 2 so clearly x plus z is also pi by 2 so that is equal to y. Now when you are saying that angle opposite to this side y that is capital Y angle is 90 degree. So clearly we can also conclude x square plus z square is equal to y square. Now from the given options if you look at it you can clearly say from the options y is equal to x plus z is correct. Option D is not correct. Option A is not correct right so this one is perfectly all right these two are not we have to talk about option c as well let's try what c is saying c is talking about tan x by 2 also tan x by 2 is equal to we can say root of 1 minus cos x upon 1 plus cos x simplest way to find half angle because we have the triangle with us which is giving me actually like this three sides are there and this is a right angled triangle and right angled at which point this is y you can write x here and z here now correct now cos x meaning you are talking about this angle it is z upon y put the value root of 1 minus z upon y divided by 1 plus z upon y. Simplify what you are getting. This gives you y minus z upon y plus z inside the root sign. Now what the question is saying just check out. It is saying tan x by 2 is equal to x upon y plus z. So let's make it free from root sign. How? multiply and divide by y plus z this is small z i'm using the same symbol so this is root of y square minus z square you can also use this symbol y plus z whole square now 
we know that y square is x square plus z square. So, this is x square meaning x upon y plus z is the result obtained. So, yes, we can check tan x by 2 is coming as x upon y plus z. So, yes, option C is also correct. So, correct answers are B and C. I am sure this question is clear. Time to take up next question. Let L1 and L2 be the two lines given by this one and another straight line L is given this one. Three lines are given in three dimensional geometry. Now question is saying let L lies in the plane containing L1 and L2 and passes through the point of intersection of L1 and L2. Correct? Next. If the line L bisects the acute angle between the lines L1 and L2, then which of the following statements is R true? Now just observe these two lines. Can we clearly see that these two are intersecting at 1, 0, 1? Because both lines are passing through the point. So yes, the point of intersection is obtained as 1, 0, 1. This is the point of intersection. Next. This line has direction ratios 1, minus 1, 3, while this one has minus 3, minus 1, 1. This is clear? All right. So now, when you write this one, from L1, you have direction ratios as 1, minus 1, 3. From L2, you have direction ratios as minus 3 minus 1 1 can you see that these two are equimodular correct its modulus is root 1 plus 1 plus 9 root 9 plus 1 plus 1 I am talking about a vector this is giving me direction ratios so let's say this is in the direction of a vector this is in the direction of b vector if I consider this one as a vector and this one as b vector so the moduli are equal when moduli are equal angle bisector will be given by its resultant. So, we can clearly find from the acute angle bisector as the question is asking for. Therefore, angle bisectors direction ratios will be along are along which one? A vector plus B vector. So, that gives you minus 2 minus 2, 4 or you can simply say 1, 1, minus 2. So, direction ratios of L are along this one. We have already obtained the point of intersection of L1 and L2 from where L is also passing. So, we have equation of L as x minus 1 upon 1, y upon 1, z minus 1 upon minus 2. Now, it is given the equation of L is x minus alpha upon L equals, we can check what is given here, y minus 1 upon m equals z minus gamma upon minus 2. So, from here, we get the value for L and m as 1 each, correct? L equals m equals 1 x minus 1 or alpha minus 1 we can say by considering this line is passing through the point alpha 1 and gamma alpha 1 and gamma so we have alpha minus 1 is equal to 1 is equal to gamma minus 1 upon minus 2 that means alpha is 2 and gamma from here of getting as minus 1 correct we can clearly see from the options part as given to me l plus m is 0 it is not correct l plus m is 2 Yes, perfectly all right because both are 1. Alpha minus gamma, 2 minus of minus 1 is 3. Clearly, option A and option B are correct. So, I am sure this is clear. So, moving on to question number 12, which of the following inequalities is are true? Now, four options are given based on definite integral within the limit 0 to 1 x cos x, x sin x, x square cos x, x square sin x. Let us plan how we can go for this question. We know that cos x can be expanded as 1 minus x square upon factorial 2 
plus x4 upon factorial 4 and so on. Now when you multiply this term by x you are getting x cos x we can say is greater than x minus x cube upon 2. Integrating within the boundary 0 to 1 x cos x dx x cos x dx is greater than equal to integrating and applying limit this is x square by 2 so it gives you half x 4 by 4 into 2 so it gives you 1 by 8 which is simply 3 by 8. So we can see that option A is correct. Next x square cos x term is there. If you multiply it further with x you are getting x square cos x is greater than x square minus x 4 by 2. Integrating within the limit 0 to 1 you are getting x square dx is greater than now here this gives you x cube by 3 that is 1 by 3 minus x 5 by 5 into 2 that is 1 by 10. So what you are getting you are getting simply here 10 by 30 minus 3 by 30 or 7 by 30. I am sure this part is clear. Now when you look at the option it is not talking about anything like this. 7 by 30 it is greater than 7 by 30 so whether greater than half or not it is not clear. We need to go for some other approach for it. Also we know x cos x it is less than 1 when x is in the interval 0 to 1. We are dealing in the interval 0 to 1. So here x square cos x apply limit is less than it is simply x the integral is x square by 2 so it is less than half. Yes now we are in a position to say that option c is definitely wrong. Next sin x in the similar fashion you can go for sin x x minus x cube upon factorial 3 plus and so on. So x sin x is greater than x square minus x 4 by 6 within the boundary of 0 to 1 when you integrate it what you will be getting x cube by 3 meaning 1 by 3 minus 1 by 30 or simply 10 by 30 minus 1 by 30 or 9 by 30 that is 3 by 10. So we have integral 0 to 1 x sin x dx it is greater than equal to 3 by 10 yes this is correct next x square similarly just multiply this term with x again and integrate when you go with this approach you find that option d is also correct so yes now we are in a position to say the correct options for this question are a b and d so let's mention the correct answers as a b d i'm sure this is clear let's take up another one 